Alright, so the iOS 15 public beta is finally out, which means that you can now download it on your possibly supported iPhone for free. So Apple was actually kind of early with this. They kind of lied to us actually at WWDC. They said that the public beta would be coming next month, but uh, it's June 30th and the beta is already here. First things first, again, you want this to be on a secondary device, not your primary one, because obviously betas are going to be bug filled and stuff like that and they can potentially brick your iPhone and you don't want that happening to your main iPhone. However, if you still want to be using your primary iPhone, I'm getting this on my main iPhone XS Max, then I strongly, strongly recommend that you back up your iPhone before you do download it. And honestly, even if you are going to be getting it on a secondary device, it's always best to back it up. You should be backing up your phone monthly or something like that. I think that's the recommended guidelines, but I don't do that. I don't think anybody does that. Anyways, there are a couple of ways that you can back up your iPhone. If you're on a Mac, then I think you just plug it in and an icon will appear in Finder and you just click that and uh, choose backup everything from iPhone, something like that. If you're on Windows, which I am on, then you have to download the iTunes app and then you'll see a little icon for your phone. You click that and then you click backup now. The amount of stuff that needs to be backed up from your iPhone changes the total amount of time that it takes to back up your iPhone. For me, I think I've got about 150 or 160 gigabytes of stuff on this bad boy, so it took me a good hour or so. Now once you have backed up your iPhone, you just want to head over to beta.apple.com and then you just sign up for it, or if you, are, if you already are a member, then just sign in. Now once you are signed in, you just head over to the iOS page, tap on enroll your iOS device, already backed up my iPhone, and then we download the profile. Now you wanna go into the settings app to find the downloaded profile, there it is. And yeah, you just wanna tap install, enter in your passcode, and then uh, it'll just ask you to restart and you restart. All right, so that restart was actually pretty quick. Uh, I'm just gonna head into settings again. You wanna go into general, software updates, and uh, the iOS 15 beta should show up right here. Yikes, six gigabytes. This is gonna take a long, long time. Okay, uh, yeah, it's gonna update. Uh, we'll wait a good two hours for that to finish. All right, and now you're done. You've downloaded the iOS 15 public beta. You're free to roam around on iOS 15 and play around with the features. If you do see any bugs, do report it through the feedback app because that's where Apple gets all the feedback about the bugs and that's how they can improve it for future public beta releases and for the full release that is coming this September. So you're officially a beta tester. Good luck. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this also helped you down in the comments. Also, let me know if you want me to make another, you know, 48 hours impressions video or something like that down in the comments. But that's pretty much it for me.